sun in the sky There's a cloud drifting by All kinds of birds make you wish you could fly And in the distance I see Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arlene Zaninez. Today's video is going to be all of the tips and tricks for traveling with a toddler. Um, Meadow is 17 months and I have flown with her at least 10 times. A lot of those times um, I've flown by myself, just her and I. So I feel like I have a pretty good grip on what to do, what to expect. Um, so hopefully you guys find this video helpful. If you guys do, please give it a huge thumbs up. That's super helpful. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. And again, I'll have everything linked below. So if I talk about something, it'll be in the, in the description box. Keep in mind that this is specifically flying with a toddler um, because when she was an infant, things were a lot different. I brought different stuff with me. She was nursing the whole flight. Like it was a totally different ball game. Um, my favorite backpack to travel with, I got this one recently and it has been a game changer. I used to just bring a regular backpack with me and in the backpack, this is where I would throw her toys, her snacks, all the stuff that she needs on the flight. Um, but this one right here makes things so much easier. It is a diaper bag and I just personally don't use a diaper bag regularly. So this is literally what we use just to travel with, but like how big and awesome is this? I love all the different compartments. I love that it makes things easy to like grab. Um, and then I love that it has this little back pocket right here. So I throw my backpack, my backpack, my computer in there. And I love that it has little like pockets on the side. And if you guys can't tell, I think it's like a fawn design dupe that I got from Amazon. It looks almost identical. And I think the review said that it, the quality is pretty similar. I don't have that one, so I don't know, but the quality of this is amazing. And it was under $50 from Amazon. I will link it below. This front pocket is where we keep her little diaper changing leather mat, which I will link below as well. Love this. We take this anytime we're traveling. So if we're at the airport, even though they have like the changing tables, um, we'll set this down. And then I have a few diapers and wipes in here. That's the first thing. Okay, the next thing, so that's the diaper bag. That's the first thing. I feel like so many things start the night before. You have to really plan these things out and just play out how your entire airport day is gonna go. Um, at least that's how I do it and that's how I've been able to travel with her so many times. So the next thing is, my big tip is check everything in, everything. The only thing you should have on you is your backpack. Um, which is gonna have all her snacks and everything like I said and then a fanny pack Which I'll get into in just a minute So those are like the only things that you should have on you at least I think because you don't want to have to be Pulling a carry-on and also making sure your toddler isn't running around or running off Or having to pick up your toddler and also having to pull a carry-on um, And I know that's the whole purpose of a carry-on is to bring it on a plane But if you're by yourself or even if you do have help, I find that it's so much easier to just check everything in, even carry on bags. Um, okay, and then the next thing is her car seat. So we do have a travel car seat that I got really recently. I had searched online, was trying to find something super lightweight, and then I saw Chelsea Hernandez post about it on her Instagram. And this is the one that I kept coming back to every time I was researching. So I went with this one. Um, it's the Costco car seat that I got at Bye Bye Baby. I will link it below. We love it, it's lightweight. I think it's like eight pounds. So it's literally super easy to pull up. Um, so if you're traveling somewhere like for fun, for vacation, like say Hawaii, for example, you're gonna need a car seat while you're there. For me, we always travel home to my mom's house where we have car seats. My in-laws have a car seat in their car. So we don't necessarily need a car seat when we get there, but we take an Uber to the airport. So we need a car seat for that. So. I mean, regardless of where you're traveling to or what your travel plans are, I feel like most people are gonna need a car seat. So we love how lightweight this is. And then the next hack is putting it on a dolly. I feel like it's pretty genius. So this way you don't have to bring a stroller. But then again, if you're going somewhere on vacation, you're gonna want a stroller there. So you can either check in your car seat at check-in when you first get to the airport and that'll make things super easy. You don't have to think about it. You'll just grab your car seat when you get off the plane or you can bring the dolly and this can act as your stroller. So the dolly we got recently and we put Meadow on it when we first get to the airport, right after security is actually, we have to take her out because it obviously has to go through security and that's when she never wants to get back into it. So it's kind of one of those things where you know your toddler best and you know what they're gonna wanna do, if they're gonna wanna walk around or if they're gonna actually stay put in their car seat or the dolly car seat. So that's one option. 
But like I said, if you do have to bring a stroller with you, um, I highly recommend the Uppa Baby Minu that I got recently. Also, I used to have the Silver Cross, which was amazing, but I realized, this is again, what I realized after traveling so much. I realized that the reason I had the Silver Cross was because I would go up to the plane, I would put it in the overhead bin, and I'm basically traveling with it. So then right when I get off the plane, I unfold it and I put Meadow back in. This was before she was walking. Um, but like I said, I realized that there's no point in doing that. There's literally no point in bringing the actual stroller, having to carry it onto the plane, having to hold an infant in my arms, and then put the stroller up in the overhead just to have it on the flight with me. I don't need it while I'm on the flight, if that makes sense. So basically, if you've never flown, you're gonna realize that if you bring a stroller with you, you literally take it right up to the gate. Same exact thing as almost bringing it on the plane, except it's gonna be the last thing that they take down. So then a guy will come up, he's gonna grab all the strollers and car seats that people have put right there, right before you're on the plane, and he's gonna take it down and put it under the plane and then when you get off it's gonna be the first thing that they bring up so literally by the time you have gotten off the plane your car seat or your stroller or whatever is gonna be right there so there's literally no need for you to have to lug it on top of your overhead bin when there's gonna be a man that basically does it for you he's just putting it under the plane if that makes sense so that being all said that's why i love the upper baby because the quality is amazing it's still super lightweight. I think it's 15 pounds, so super easy. And then the one thing, the biggest thing is that it's a one hand fold. So when you get to security, you do have to take your baby off of the stroller or even out of the car seat and hold your baby, hold your toddler, and then do a one hand fold. With the silver cross that I had before, I couldn't do a one hand fold. Hope that all made sense. Once you're there, it'll make sense. Always call your airline too. Like, Every airline is different, but okay, the next thing also, I mentioned this, wear a fanny pack or a forward facing backpack where you have all of like your essential essentials. So if you have a baby in one arm, the carrier I only used when she was like two or three months one time, I don't find it necessary now that she's bigger. And for me, it's way too heavy on my back. But anyways, you're gonna have your backpack on your back. In the front is where I keep my ID, cash, um, your ticket to board the plane, all the essentials like that. It doesn't have to be any anything big because it's just little things like that because you do have to pull your ID out often and your plane ticket and I need it to be accessible in the front. So literally just a little unzip, pull it out, hand it to them or also make sure you wear pockets. That's always super helpful. I throw my phone into my pocket. It really makes a huge difference. If you don't have pockets, you're gonna regret doing that. Okay, so now we're on the airplane. So once you're on the airplane, of course, Every baby and toddler is gonna to be different. With us, I feel like we've gotten really lucky with Meadow. I feel like she's just always been a pretty good baby overall. Um, but mind you, like I said, we always just fly to my mom's house, which is only a one hour flight. I've never done anything longer. So, okay, maybe now you guys are clicking out of the video. You're like, you've never done a real flight. No, uh, hopefully you guys are still finding this helpful. Um, once you're on the plane, I do like to kind of space things out and space out what I brought. So for example, when we first get on, I start like showing her the plane and like the window and I have her looking out the window and explaining things and explaining to her that we're gonna take off and we're gonna be in the sky, things like that. And then once everyone's boarded, once we're ready to go and she starts getting more comfy on the plane, that's when I like take out maybe the first snack and some of my favorite snacks to bring are puffs of course that she loves to eat regularly and then like fruit i like to do bananas and cuties because those are easy to throw into a bag unpeel when she's ready to eat and then also another thing that i got recently we didn't have this before because i obviously don't really give her this on a regular basis this is literally just for traveling that's exactly what we got it for she's never seen it any other time unless we're on an airplane so a tablet this one is I forget the name of it, but I'll link it below. It's been awesome. Make sure you download shows before. So the night before prep, download whatever you need to download. We download like Disney movies. You could even download um, Netflix. You could download like Coco Melon shows and stuff. So she doesn't sit too long watching a movie while we're on the plane, probably like 20 ish minutes. But I mean, every minute counts. So it really does make a big difference and it's easy to bring this little guy along. A few other things worth mentioning while we're on the plane. So aside from the snacks, 
also a water bottle we do bring her water bottle or you can also buy one there um, and by her water bottle i mean like a little straw water bottle because then once we're there we do buy water pour it into her water bottle straw cup and then um we have her drink it while we take off and then also while we're landing just because um i've just heard that like the gulping helps their ears and again she's never like thrown any big fits on an airplane or cried even when we're taking off but now that she's getting bigger and it does hurt her ears i've noticed that she'll kind of like smack them so i know it's hurting her ears whenever i notice that i immediately grab the water bottle and have her drink it and then also her binky if you have a binky baby i'm sure you know to bring one she's not like a huge binky baby she always uses them just to sleep but on travel days we basically let her have it the whole time if she starts to get a little antsy or we notice that her ears or whatever it is we do just kind of pop it into her mouth and hope that it kind of soothes her and calms her down a little bit but she doesn't ever like get scared when we're taking off or landing it's always just been normal to her so that's a big plus of traveling quite a bit and then as far as toys i've heard a lot of people say this i've heard a lot of people say that they bring a new toy for their baby or toddler so that it's something new for them to like play with and explore but for us I would bring the toys that I know she absolutely loves. This is when she was smaller. Now that she's gotten bigger, I literally bring a, like a little backpack or a little bag full of the most random stuff I could find. This girl, like kids, toddlers love random things. I mean random, like I brought like a roll of tape, maybe a little figurine, a puzzle piece, like the more random, <laughs> the better, at least for Meadow and she'll like grab it. She'll look at it for a little bit. And then as far as like cleaning the airplane and desanitizing and stuff before, we definitely tried desanitizing, but at the same time, we know that it's just gonna be inevitable. Like she's going to get germy and dirty. Like the thing she touches on there is, it's inevitable. I'm telling you, like she's climbing on things. She's grabbing this, grabbing that, like it, it's gonna happen. So yes, you can try to desanitize as much as you can or want. But at least for us, I know that when we're flying and traveling, she's gonna touch everything. <laughs> and then even while we're at the airport, she'll go up to random seats and like kind of just put her arms there. Like there's just so much touching going on. So I already know that she's gonna be dirty. And then as soon as we land, we just wash her hands and that's how we do it. That's everything while you're on the plane that I feel like covered everything. The last thing is when you get off the plane, like I mentioned, you'll have your stroller right there or either um the car seat or whatever it is that you chose to do um one thing that we got recently is our little rolling suitcase that i shared on instagram that a lot of you guys loved and even while we were going through the airport um we had so many stairs and people saying it was the coolest thing they'd seen all day so this is one of those optional things where you can either check it in or not again it can act as a stroller basically your toddler can sit on it and hold on and meadow likes it but what we did we've only used it once we checked it in because like i said i don't like bringing anything and having to pull anything extra with us especially knowing my own toddler and knowing that she might not sit on it the entire time yeah she'll like it for a few minutes but she might not sit on it the entire time we're at the airport if that makes sense so it was kind of one of those extra things i don't want to lug around once we got off the plane and we went to the carousel we grabbed it from there and then that's when we put her on it while we walked out to our uber and she loved it then and we loved it as far as that i don't know in the future i'm sure we won't check it in and we'll actually use it throughout the airport when we know she's a little bit bigger and we know that she'll actually sit on it the entire time we're at there we do love it it's amazing quality i did want to mention it so i will link the exact one down below but i think that covers everything as far as traveling i'm telling you i get these questions on my instagram all the time i've had friends ask me about it so hopefully all the little details made sense and hopefully this will kind of ease whatever worries you have i know the first few times i flew by myself i was so anxious like i'm not even exaggerating like my hands are sweaty i like don't know if i can pull it off um and then everything went smoothly and fine so and if you see a struggling mom or a mom who looks like they can use an extra hand always be that extra hand i'm telling you even if you just tell them like oh my gosh like you're traveling with a baby by yourself like you're doing so well i'm sure that's gonna make their day and also while you're on the flight if you hear another crying baby your toddlers are gonna cry they've never been on a plane they think it's scary um it's all normal and no one's judging everyone's trying to do their best um so yeah i did just want to mention that because i feel like we all know it but just hearing it again just makes things a little easier so 
yeah, I wanted to mention that. Good luck on your guys' travels and on your guys' upcoming trips. Um, subscribe, turn your post notifications. Links are all down below. That's it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.